What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a VHS. Anyway, yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so once you are in HitFilm, the first thing you are going to want to do is drag on your footage onto the editing timeline. Now I'm just using this footage of some forest somewhere. So the first we're going to do is make this into a composite shot by pressing that and pressing OK. Now it's a composite shot, we're going to start editing it to make it look like VHS, all the kind of fashion film. So the first thing we're going to do is add some grain or noise. So the grain is going to be added. Now this is what it does, is it makes it a bit more grainy and a bit more realistic. So we can make the size, just leave the size at zero. Maybe turn that to monochrome as well. And turn the green. We don't want too much grain, as too much grain can kind of ruin the effect. So probably about that much. Just zoom in to see what look kind of natural. And then you can change the seed. Now the seed doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to leave that at zero. Okay, so once you've added grain, the next thing I want to do is add a hue saturation. Now, what this hue saturation does is, if you go to the master and turn the saturation down, it kind of makes it a bit more realistic and washed out. So I'm going to turn it to about 34%, I think looks good for this clip. Now, it will vary between clips, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Now we've done that, we've kind of got this kind of grainy, kind of older film kind of look. So now what we are going to do is duplicate this layer three times by pressing Control D, Control D. Now the top layer, if we press F2, we can rename this. So we're going to put an R for red. Then the second layer, G for green. Third layer, B for blue. Now this is going to do a RGB split effect, which is quite popular at the moment. And what that means is basically you can see these separate layers, which kind of makes it a little bit more glitchy and a bit more stylized. Now, to do this effect, what we need to go is the levels histogram. So, searching levels and levels histogram. And the first one I want to drag it onto is the red layer. Now it's on the red layer. We're going to just go down to this one that says the green. And we're going to turn all the green off. And the blue, we're going to change the output down to zero on that. Now that layer is red. Now, if we go to the layer properties, we can go down to screen and that'll make it transparent and fit in. And we're going to do this again with the next layer, which is the green layer. So we're going to drag that onto the green layer. Get rid of all the red output and all the blue output. Change that also to screen. And we're also going to do it one more time on the bottom layer, which is going to be the blue one. So we're going to just go to the red, turn that one all the way down, and then also the green all the way down. So now you can see it kind of looks normal. Now we're going to go onto the top layer again, which is the red layer. And we're going to go to the transform and turn the scale to about 107, which I think looks pretty good. And this, as we're upgrading the scale, making the scale a bit bigger, you can see kind of here, the outline of the kind of, it looks a bit like a chromatic aberration-y kind of effect. However, as you get more into the middle, it looks a bit more normal, which I think is the kind of effect I'm looking for, and that looks pretty good. Now, once we've done that, we're going to add a grade layer by just going to new, then the grade. On this le layer, we're going to add a letter box. Now, I'm adding this on a new grade layer, as otherwise it can kind of confuse things a little bit. So I'm going to go down to this aspect ratio and change it to 4.3, which is kind of the aspect ratio. And now, as you can see, we've got something that looks vhs -y. Okay, there we go. You've now got your own cool VHS kind of cool effect. Now, I think this looks really cool for kind of like vlog, or kind of cinematic for stuff like Sam Cole kind of thing, and all that kind of cool stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and until next time, bye.